Sunshine. It could happen to you. And a lot of reviewers actually will wax poetic about this hidden gem from the 1970s and sure. what a remarkable find it is and how it's now this kind of cult classic. And, you know, <laughs> I was. I had more positive inclinations to the film before reading a lot of the pretentious bullshit that people say about it, acting like it's utterly genius, because the things I found to enjoy about it were not in that direction at all. It hinted at going much more over the top than it did, and it would have been better off doing so. It never really reaches that point of like raw, frenetic, silliness and absurd craziness that really makes things a movie night classic it just hints at it sometimes and otherwise gets kind of tedious i did like how it shows these maniacs and the depiction is over the top enough to be laughable what happens is people are losing their hair and then going ape shit getting homicidal going out and killing people and people are at a party and a guy is strumming a guitar and singing a song and somebody uh accidentally yanks off his hair because he's wearing a wig and then he goes ape shit and starts killing people for which our protagonist jerry gets blamed so jerry starts going out investigating because he's got to clear his name and somehow he's the only one to put together that Turns out there's a whole rash of killings, people running amok and murdering people, and they all lose their hair completely before they go ape shit and start doing this. So he's the only one who pieces it together because he has the vested interest in uh, saving himself. But when it shows these people go maniac, that's when it's funny. It's like a, it's almost like a comedy film delivery. The close up on the crazy eyes, the over the top acting, and in fact, the acting is pretty bad. And sometimes that's entertaining. There's really bad delivery in some of the lines. And some of it's just outright perplexing. There's a point where there's two guys in a gun store. And I'm wondering if they're getting homoerotic with the way the dialogue is going. Because the guy's behind the counter and he's telling them something like, you just got to lower this baby and aim, but you don't want to jerk it. Because if you jerk it, it won't work. Don't jerk it. Because if you jerk won't work and uh the other guy decides to repeat this list of instructions to the guy and all the while i'm wondering if things were going to get rectal because it sounded like they were really <laughs> veering in that direction <laughs> apropos of nothing they just they just there's a lot apropos of nothing in this film honestly they didn't seem to explore too deeply any of the concepts. What turned out to be the case is that all of these people who were freaking out had 10 years prior taken this acid, LSD, called Blue Sunshine. And it had this 10-year delayed effect of making people homicidal maniacs after, after that time. Then they, they would lose their hair, run them up, start killing people. But the funny thing about it is, is... They would always reach that point just at like the perfect time, just at the time when it's like, oh, the protagonist just realized this person doesn't have hair or that or that this person took the blue sunshine 10 years earlier. It's like, OK, then they're within a minute <laughs> of going on a fucking rampage that's been held off for 10 years. So, I mean, that ends up being the entire story and it. I would say it's a tedious slog because it is, but also if you are uh, familiar with 70s films, this is a high impact wild ride because there was something fucking wrong with people in the 70s where the aesthetic was disgusting, the architecture was horrible, the people looked idiotic, they 
had no idea what to wear. <laughs> and they made films like Impulse, where the best that could be said of it was they forgot to edit out a fart that William Shatner let while he was sitting down in his scene. And the rest of it dragged <laughs> on for like five hours straight. And so many of their fucking movies did exactly that. Just dragged on and did fucking nothing. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.